Hello and welcome back to this most tab tutorial on how to set up and run your Minecraft server. Now in this part I'm going to explain to you how to transfer your single player world into your multiplayer world and also uh, explain some of the commands that you can use both in your server from the server side and as an op or as just a general user of the server. So let's start with the first step which is transferring your single player world into your multiplayer world. So uh, most of us probably already have some kind of a world that we've created in our single player. So I'm going to just focus on one of them here. This is the library that I created from my university. And if I start play it, this is the single player version. So I start right here. This is the library. So I'm going to quit this right now. And so what we'll need to do is we'll need to take that file and transfer it into our server folder and basically put it right here with the other world files. So now, so the first step right now is to find out where your Minecraft files are located. And that's uh, that can be a little bit tricky because Minecraft doesn't want to advertise where the installation folder is. Now, one of the easier ways to find out where it is is by doing the following. So let me just open up. Uh, so let me just show it to you. So I have my Minecraft shortcut right here on my desktop. Uh, and you probably do as well. If you install Minecraft, it, it usually creates this automatically. So basically, right click on it and you'll get properties, uh, click on the properties, and this target right here is the pathway that you want, but you don't want the whole thing, you just want everything up to the file. So basically, all I want is up to, let's just say here. Now copy everything else, just uh, right click and copy this. Go back into the um, file explorer and paste this. So this is, the, uh, this is the folder that we want. I'm gonna click on this, oops. I did something wrong here. Oh yeah, I had this brackets. You remove the brackets from here. Uh, click on this and it will open the folder where your Minecraft is located. So it's uh, for me, it's users, my name, um, app, app data roaming dot Minecraft. So sometimes this folder will be hidden. You might actually not see it, but if you copy paste the whole thing, it will show it to you uh, like this. So these are my Minecraft files. And what we want here, we want to go into saves. Go into your saves and these are all of the worlds that you've created so what i'm looking for is this this file right here this is the world that i want this is the university library that i've created and basically Control c or right click and copy and now go back into your minecraft server and paste it right here paste the whole thing right here so it's going to appear in there now before we can start the server we need to go back into the server file and change the name of the world to the name that you have right here. So mine is called Boise. I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm actually going to really remove my yeah. I'm going to I'm going to remove my whitelisting as well because I, I don't want to be whitelisted right now. Now start a server using the shortcut we created in a previous video. So the server is currently running. Then go into the multiplayer uh, part of Minecraft and connect the server. Connect to the server. And unfortunately, I'm underwater right now. Oh yeah, okay. So I set my spawn point too close to the entrance where there's water. But basically, this is it. This is the world I created before. And right now, I'm in a survival mode. So I should probably be a little bit careful because if I try to go inside the library, I'll probably get killed because there's zombies inside. But this is exactly the library that I created in my single player mode, except this is now a multiplayer version. There's a zombie right there. Um, this is the multiplayer version that other people can connect as well uh, and can explore this with me. And there's 20 people maximum right now, so 20 people can connect to the server. Anyway, so this is how you transfer your single player version of Minecraft into the multiplayer version of Minecraft. Uh, now make sure that if you do have any uh, mods or plugins installed when you uh, when you, you create your single player version, that you tell people um, that you, you tell your friends that are that want to connect to use the same plugins because if someone tries to connect to my server right now, they won't have the same textures because my textures are different. Like all of this is customized textures, and the uh, or even like these pictures right here, they won't have these. Uh, so you need to make sure that everyone has the same files. Uh, that's actually optional, of course. If, if you just want to have a vanilla version server with vanilla textures, then it's not a problem. Alright, so now let's talk about the commands. I'm, I'm going to exit this. 
And I'm going to go into this white window again, and this is where a lot of the commands uh, can be initiated from the server side. So the commands that you should know about, firstly, are ban and pardon. So ban command, let me show you what it does. So for example, this user right here is misbehaving on my server. I want to get rid of them. All I need to do is type ban and username, and the user is automatically dropped from the server. Now, if you actually decide that you want the user to come back, all you need to do is use the cam uh, command pardon, and this user will no longer be banned. So now if the user tries to connect to the server again, he or she can. Uh, if you want to give someone a reason for why they're being banned, or if you want to just get rid of them temporarily, you can use a uh, you can either use um, command ban username uh, and reason. So the reason can be you you suck, and this will be uh, who. So next time that the user tries to reconnect, it gives them a reason right here. The reason why you're banned is because you suck. Um, Alternatively, you can also use the command kick, which is uh, basically it's just going to kick the user from the server, but will not ban them. So right now I was just kicked, but not banned. So I can still come back to the server afterwards. Another command you may want to use is op or op and deop. So op will give this user. So right now you can see that I have op. Um, command activator on, on for this user will give this user extra um, features and extra power basically to do various things like for example you can teleport you can um, uh, spawn different objects you can create things uh, there's a full list of, list of commands I'm going to post in the description below that you can actually uh, use with this particular um, flag on so for example I can now teleport and I can go to different places uh, without actually walking there now if this user decides to abuse their power and overuses the, uh, the commands then you can obviously remove the op power from them by typing d op and then uh, their username if you're running the whitelisted server, and I've already talked about this in the previous uh, video, you can also use the command whitelist add username or whitelist remove username. So these uh, these commands will add someone to the whitelist or remove them for the, from the whitelist. So this is for a server that you want to keep private. And finally, the last command that you may want to know is stop command, which basically shuts down the server uh, safely and saves everything that you, you have on the server so far. Uh, instead of just pressing the um, X button, which usually closes the server, but may not necessarily save everything. So if you, if you just uh, type stop, the server stops and connection is lost for all of the users. So that's really all of the essential commands that you need to know. Um, all of the other commands that you may want to check out uh, are going to be posted in the description below with the link to all of the commands that are available for, for the servers. And uh, this is pretty much it. So this is basically how you start your server, how to run your server, and how to edit um, various things, and how to transfer single player to multiplayer. Um, or And basically this concludes my series of videos for now. I'm going to post a little, um, more tutorials later on explaining some of the other features of Minecraft servers but for now I think this is it uh, if you have any suggestions or if you have any requests please post them in the uh, description uh, or sorry not in the description please post them in the comments below and uh, comment on uh, if you enjoyed the video or not or if you want me to add something else and anyway thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and have a good day enjoy Minecraft bye bye